Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to look at how you can record with two different USB mics at the same time on a Windows PC. I'm going to look at two different approaches. First of all how you could set it up so that you could mix the two microphones together on one track in software like Audacity and then how you could record each microphone at the same time on separate tracks in a digital audio workstation like Reaper. Now I post regular videos on home recording made easy. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then do subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you've got any comments or questions, do post them below. I love to read them and it helps me decide what kind of content to produce next to help you out. So let's crack on and record these two microphones at the same time. We're going to start off by recording two USB mics at the same time in Audacity. And as I said before, this will involve combining the two microphones together on one track. So the first thing you're going to do is grab a copy of Voice Meter, and I'll put a link to this below. This is superb software for doing this kind of activity. And you'll see when you come here that there is a basic version of voice meter, which is what I'm going to demonstrate. If when you have used this, you want to combine more inputs and do more, then they've got banana and potato, which allow you to do so much more. But for this case, we just want to combine two microphones. So this standard one will do. So you simply go to the site and download it and you'll see that it is donateware so if you think it's good then you should donate to them because this is superb so you've got your voice meter installed now we need to do a little bit of housekeeping in windows so we're going to access the control panel quickest way to con to access it is to start typing the word control panel in the search or well, there's other ways of getting to it through apps but this is the control panel if you're looking at it on the category view, then you need to go to hardware and sound and then under sound, manage audio devices. Now we can see all the microphones we've got installed and all the playback devices. So I'm going to start on the recording devices and you'll see I've got two USB mics attached to my computer and you can see that they're both picking up sound as I speak. So I've got a Shure MV5 and I've got an AT2020 USB Plus. So these are the two mics I'd like to combine. Now, before you get into doing voice meter, I would suggest that you click each mic and check the properties of it. First of all, make sure where the level is in this panel here, because when you first install a USB mic, it actually might be on a very quiet level and then you wonder why it's not working. So you come here to adjust the levels. And then if you go to the advanced tab here, check the sampling rate, because I think everything needs to line up. So at the moment I'm on the AT2020. So if I go to the advanced tab, I've set it so that it's recording at 16 bit 44 100 hertz. So CD quality. My Audio Technica is a 16 bit device. I'm going to stick with 16 bit. My other mic is actually a 24 bit device, but there's I'm going to make them all match because I think that's the best thing. So that's OK. Let's go to the shore and do the same thing. Look at the properties, check the levels. I've adjusted these beforehand to get them right. And then in the advanced tab again, you see I've set it up at CD quality. So they're matching. Now the same with the playback. You can do the same thing. You can check the advanced tab and check the playback as well. So I've got those already set up. What I do then is I am going to shut this down for the time being and just show you voice meter, which I've got running already. Here is what the panel looks like. Now I have already selected my two microphones. What you can do in voice meter is you can choose two different microphones. And also this virtual input is in fact any computer sounds you have got going on. So if you wanted to have a backing track playing in Spotify or YouTube or any other playback, then you can record that at the same time. We'll have a look at that in a minute, but you'll see what I've done here. You click here and you can choose which microphone is input one. Now I've chosen the WDM drivers. They 
worked much better than the NME drivers. They were just faster so that when you listen through the headset, there is much less of a delay. So I've chosen WDM. You experiment to see which works best for you. So the first microphone is my Shure MV5. And you see it's nicely picking up my sound as I speak. And then the second one is my AT2020 USB+. Plus. Now, as well as having two different inputs, two different hardware inputs, you can have two different hardware outputs. And you'll see that I have set up A1 to be the headphone output on my Shure and A2 to be the headphone output on my AT2020 USB+. Now, both these USB mics have got headphone ports, so you could have a scenario where you've got two people, each using a different USB microphone, and each with their headphones individually plugged into their respective mic. And what they hear will depend on what you have clicked here. Now, the way I've got this set up at the moment is the only sound I am hearing through my headphones, which I happen to have plugged into my Audio Technica, is the sound of my Audio Technica mic. I've actually turned off the shore, but if I press A there, I can now hear both of the microphones, or I could turn off the Audio Technica and just hear the MV5. So everything that you have clicked A on will be heard through both of the outputs here. If somebody had headphones plugged into the shore, they'd be able to hear the same thing as me. But as I don't want to hear both the mics, I've turned that off. So A is all about routing the hardware. And you've also got B. And B is about routing the virtual output. And you'll see that B here is picking up the combined signals of everything that is going in there. Both the microphones are being sent to this virtual out. And this is the routing that is going to be recorded in Audacity. And if I were to start playing some background music as well, then you would see the levels here. And again, that is go also going out to B and also to A. So I would hear it through the headphones and I would hear it when I made the recording. Now, leave voice meter open and running in the background. I discovered that if you shut it down here, then it doesn't work within Audacity. And I spent a long time scratching my head, wondering why sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Just leave the utility running. It's working okay. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to go back to my control panel, which because I've opened is already there. Go back to my audio devices. And here I'm going to make sure that I have set voice meter as the default device for both playback and for recording. OK, so to do that, you just select it. And because it's already default, it's grayed out. But you, if it wasn't the default device, you'd click here, set default. That's all fine. So I've got that set up. I can shut that down. And now I'm going to open up Audacity. What you're going to do is you're going to combine the two microphones on one track. Make sure that you have selected voice meter as the input. I'm going to leave it on stereo. So I'm making a stereo recording. You can switch it to mono if you wish. And then here I've selected voice meter as the output as well. OK, now here you can go to the WDS drivers. Same, just changed it. OK, so um, because I selected that. OK, so make sure you've got WDS here as well. Windows Direct Sound. So now we are ready to begin. All I need to do is start recording. And you'll see immediately there's levels being picked up. If I tap on my Shure mic, that's being picked up. Tap on my Audio Technica mic. Yep, that's being picked up. So both of my microphones are being picked up at the same time and being mixed into one track here. If I go back to voice meter, which I've still got running, you can see the microphones are jumping about nicely. Now, if I start playing a track, in Spotify, I will just start playing whatever's there. OK, and minimize that. You can now see that I am receiving an input from Spotify as well. OK, and if I just turn down the volumes of the microphones here, which I can do, you'll see that 
Audacity is continuing to record because it's actually recording the track that I've got playing in Spotify. I could adjust the level here and have a sort of quiet background track going on or I could ramp it up or whatever. So actually voice meter, as well as being a great utility for combining two different audio devices, is also fantastic if you want to capture the audio from YouTube, Spotify, any other music app that you've got playing or any, any sound app where you want to actually record the sound of it as well. So I will stop that playing and I will now go and stop that. Okay, so that is how you go about recording a tr uh, two microphones and your background audio if you want to in Audacity on the same track. Now, one more thing I'd like to point out now we've looked at the basics is that within, let's move these up a bit so you can see they're still, in fact, you can double click on these and take them back up to the default level. I'm not going to go at length about this, but because you're recording a mix of two mics, you may want to play with these controls here, which allow you to do a little bit of EQ and add a bit of echo and so on and brightness to the microphones that you've got attached. And so that is what will happen here. And you can change the sort of frequency and depth of it and so on by moving these squares around for each mic. So you might want to experiment with that. The other thing is this audibility control will allow you to do a little bit of noise reduction if you want. And again, you might find that that improves the audio quality of your mic. I'm not going to delve into too much detail here, but as you can see, this is just a fantastic little utility. So that's how you record two USB microphones on Audacity at the same time. If I want to record from two USB microphones but on separate tracks, I can do that, but the process is slightly different. What I'm going to show you is going to work in any ASIO software like Reaper, which is the one I'm going to demonstrate with. You could use it in Ableton, Pro Tools, Adobe Audition, any software that is ASIO enabled. What you need to do first is navigate to asioforall.org and download the ASIO for All drivers and restart your computer. This is a utility I recommend you install anyway because it will allow you to run your mic quite efficiently within ASIO software. Once that's installed, you've done your restart, we're ready to open up our software. And in this case, I'm going to use Reaper, as I said. So if I go to Options, Preferences, then I can examine the device that I'm going to use. And at the moment, I've got my input and out device set to one of my USB microphones. But what I can do here is switch to ASIO. Make sure I can see ASIO for all here and the drop down list. I need to tick this um, box here to enable inputs. And if I look in the ASIO configuration, you'll see that I have pinned both of my USB microphones here. So the Audio Technica and the Shure. They're all pinned. So you can pin devices here or unpin them. These are the ones that I want. Okay, shut that. And then what I do is from here, the first device I want to start with is the Audio-Technica input one. And the last device is the Shure MV5 input two. Okay, so really important that this first and last encompasses both your microphones. Now the output, you can choose to have the entire output range so that you can hear it through both speakers. I'm just going to stick with the one that I've got my headphones plugged into. Okay, once I've got all that set up, I can just double click here to create a couple of tracks. If I right click and look at the track manager, I can name the track something sensible like Audio Technica and Sure. When I shut that, you'll see there's a meaningful name here. I could also select both of those and set them to random colors so it's very clear what I'm doing. Okay, now if I arm this one for recording, I can now choose what my input is on this track. And I'm gonna do stereo and I'm going to go for 802020. So I'm going to do a stereo recording through the 802020 mic. Now you can see I could pick to record through both mics at once by picking that second option, or I could record through the shore. So this one is going to be the Audio Technica mic. Do the same here on this one for recording and choose the input here. But this time I'm going to choose the shore. So I've got both these microphones now set up and you can see that they are picking up my voice quite nicely. They're ready to go. So all I have to do now is start recording and I'm recording both the microphones 
on separate tracks. If I just tap the Audio Technica, you'll see that I'm only receiving a signal on that microphone. If I now just tap the Shaw, trying to do it gently so that <laughs> <laughs> because they're next to each other, it's picking it up. But this is the this is the sure mic picking up the bigger signal. Okay, I'll just try that one more time. Just to, I'll move it out of the way of the other microphone. That's better. So that's the sure just picking that up. Okay, but because I'm moving like the mics around, it's picking up all sorts of things. But there you go. That is how you record your two USB mics on Windows on separate tracks. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you want a little bit more information, then I have written a complete article with a step-by-step -step guide about how to set the microphones up and record on your Windows PC. Remember, if you enjoyed this, do subscribe to the channel so that you can get more of my home recording tips and tricks. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you next time.